Hey, what is up, guys? It is Chris from the WFU Internetwork here again with a brand new uh, interview for you guys. Today we have former WWE superstar and current ROA superstar Mike Mondo. How you doing, Mike? Oh, what's up there, Chris? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, my friend? I'm great. Thank you for asking, and uh, I'm just excited to see you on the sh- uh, be here uh, doing an interview with me because I never really told people this, but the Spirit Squad were actually the first heels that I hated. <laughs> like, you guys yeah. did your job so well that, like, I wanted to, like, throw stuff at my TV when you guys came on TV. Yeah, well, you know, it's just one of those things that you get something thrown at you and you got to make the most in which uh, they're giving you. But as far as I'm concerned, those days are in the past and I'm only looking right now in the present and then going towards the future. Uh, that season is over, and right now my main focus is in Tunnel Vision, and that's uh, the ROH World Heavyweight Championship, which Kevin Steen currently has and will be defending against Davey Richards this Sunday, 5 o'clock p.m., best in the world at the Hammerstein Ballroom. Uh, I'm gonna, that's my first Ring of Honor show live, and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. Like, I think it's going to be yeah. a fantastic show. And now that yeah, you know you're announcing... Yeah. Well, you know what, man, you're right. It is going to be a fantastic show. And you know what? It's going to be an even better show if they decide to put Mike Mondo on. You know, I've had had a really, that's why I said it's been a long couple of days and everything. And, um, you know, of course, getting the phone call, saying my services aren't needed. Are you kidding me? Really? My services are always needed. You know, you make more money because of me. And Mike Mondo doesn't say no to anybody. Since day one from when I was born till now, I do what I want, I do when I want, and I do how I want to do it. So if you're telling me that oh, my services aren't needed, I say you're wrong, and I'm going to be there. What am I doing? I have no idea. But as soon as I roll my bag into that building, I'm going to find the executives. I'm going to find Jim Cornette. I'm going to go right up to their face because I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that don't have a match. And I don't care if it's anybody. You know, I don't have to be David Richards. I understand that. And I, because he's got his hands full of Kevin and, uh, you know, just one shot only. And if he doesn't win, then he never gets a shot at the uh, heavyweight championship again. But just give me somebody, you see, because that, that, the show is really important uh, to me. You know, being that I'm from New York, my family's from New York, uh, or, you know, a lot of my fans, uh, you know, the, the uh, are here from New York. Hey, you know, I am born a New Yorker, and I always consider myself a New Yorker. And I've wrestled, you know, everywhere at the National Coliseum. I've been at Madison Square Garden. I'm sure a lot of my fellow uh, wrestlers can relate to the Yelks Lodge. I've wrestled there. It's a very special place to wrestle. Uh, the Manhattan Center, which is on the second floor, but never the Hammerstein Ballroom. But the Hammerstein Ballroom, you see, man, it's a very special place to me because, I mean, I've seen so many concerts there as a kid. It's the first place where I saw a, a, a pro, pro wrestling live event. So to close that chapter for me, you know, as an accomplishment, just for me, you know, I want to walk through that curtain and stand in that ring at the Hammerstein Ballroom in front of the greatest fans in the world, the Ring of Honor wrestling fans. And, you know, I'm going to make it happen. Whatever I got to do, I'm going to make it happen. Screw corporate, you know. I'm, Mike Mondo's never feared anybody, and, you know, he never will. And I'm not going to let some fat lady freaking in a suit who is behind a desk all day tell me what to do. And that's just the way it goes. Because I said I do things the easy way, and I just walk home and listen to her, do things the hard way, and keep blowing up their phones and have them not answer, or do things the Mondo way. And you don't want to go that part of doing things the Mondo way, because it could get ugly. That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, but I will be there, man. I'll be there, my friend, and I hope to see you there, too, you know? Of course. Well, of course. Else. I'm, and I'm, <laughs> that's my short in nutshell. That's why it's been a little stressful. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I'm, up. I was up. excited. I was excited when you started, like, announcing that, like, you're going to get there and you're going to, like, force them to give you a match. Like, well, that's when I started. That's, like, because to be honest, I was hyped for the show. Like, Davey Steen's going to be crazy. But I was just like, all the other matches are going to be great, but there's really, there's not really, like, a hot thing going on. Like, someone trying to, like, just make it, like, break it into Ring of Honor, and that's what you're trying to do. And I always find that stuff interesting and see, you know, the outcomes is always a fun thing to watch. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, see, that's the thing. Uh, that's the thing about Ring of Honor and the beauty of it is that 
a lot of people, you know, like like what you just said, you know, some people like they have those assumptions, you know, baby and uh, Steen, you know, two of the two, two of the finest wrestlers without a doubt. I mean, I've been in the ring with Davey, and let me tell you something. As much as I don't like him, and you know, he, he don't like me, you know, we just had a 15 minute time limit draw in Charleston, West Virginia, you know, where we pushed ourselves to the limit. And you know what the bottom line, the bottom, the outcome of that? Davey Richards could not be Mike Mongo. So if he says he's the best in the world, well, I got to call him out on that and say, I think not. Mike Mondo is the best in the world. I've been doing this for years. I've had over 2,000 matches. Matches. We have some things in common. We both wrestle all around the world. But Davey Richards is tough as nails, and I respect him. I put him on a different pedestal. So if, if anybody can get the job done there that night, I think it's Davey Richards. But as far as you talk about the other matches, and uh, I disagree in a way, only because Ring of Honor has got top-notch athletes uh, in the United States, coast-to-coast. Uh, internationally, everywhere, you know, everyone is just so well-rounded, so just athletically gifted, innovative, and there's something about New York City where kind of like everyone ups their game, you know, it's just that vibe, the fans, that atmosphere, you know, being, uh, you know, whether it's the Manhattan Center or the Hammerstein, and we're right now, in, we're coming up this Sunday, I mean, what is it right now, Friday, we're 48 hours away from the biggest pay-per-view this summer. And you can still get your tickets, you know, at ROHWrestling.com, where you get them at the door. Uh, I believe they're as low as 15 bucks. I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, 15 bucks, that's like, <laughs> that's like a, I mean, a, a treat. I mean, you know, you are going to walk, you're going to walk in happy, and you're going to walk out just feeling like it's the day on Christmas, because everyone's going to bust their ass, and they're going to give you a show of a lifetime. And if Mike Mondo is on the show, if they do the right thing, and they put me on the show, which they should, they better... Well, guess what? I am going to leave an impression, and the fans, they're not going to be chanting, this is wrestling. No. They're going to be chanting, mon wrestling. They won't be chanting, this is awesome. No way. They're going to be chanting, Mondo's awesome. Because Ring of Honor, you know, I kind of can't believe the thing here. It's not ROH anymore. It's RON because when you step in the ring with me, you're stepping in the ring of Mondo because that's my sandbox. That's where I play. That's where I excel. You know, I may not have a college degree, but you damn sure better believe I got a Ph.D. in professional wrestling, and that's how I roll, you know? Exactly. And, you know, I got to, you know, I know you're kind of irritated with Ring of Honor, but WWE kind of made you, they didn't let you use your talent to your fullest, and Ring of Honor is giving you that opportunity. So are you grateful for that, like that ROH has exposed how great of a wrestler you can actually be? You hit the nail right on the head, my friend. I couldn't have put it any better. Uh, Ring of Honor, I'm going to say this in a nutshell. You know, I'm very thankful for Ring of Honor for the opportunity they've given me. You see, because that's what everyone gets mistaken. Everyone gets mistaken about, oh, I got a job. I got a job. You know, I got a job. And it's all metal. No, you don't got you know, I'm not going to use profanity here, but you got nothing, okay? What you have is an opportunity, you know? When you make a million bucks, you know, and people know, you know, who you are and you're, and you're making good money, then you've got a job. Until then, you've got an opportunity. You need to make the most of it every time you step through that ring. See, and Ring of Honor, I'm so thankful for because it gave me the platform to be who I am. And what you see out there in the ring, man, realistically, I know it sounds a little crazy, but it is me turned up times 20. <laughs> when I get mad, when, when that New York part of me comes out, you know, it's not very pretty. You know, it's some, some, it takes a lot to get me there, but when it comes out, it's not so pretty. And um, it's, it's that, and that's really what I'm thankful for. Is I finally get a, get a chance to show the fans that appreciate wrestling, oh. and the key word is wrestling, exactly what I can do. And I can do anything there is. I mean, I can do, I can high fly. I can damn sure to wrestle. I can have to boil down to a fight. I can fight, you know. Uh, I can do, I am over prepared. I've trained so many guys that are now currently or formerly uh, in TNA and WWE. You know, I've done pretty much everything that there is to do in wrestling as far as, you know, positions are concerned. Um, you know, I'm, I am just all well-rounded. I mean, wrestling is, professional wrestling is what I do. And that's, and that's uh, my dream, and I'm living my dream. 
but I'm just I'm so glad to finally get that opportunity to show uh, that I can do more than just what I was doing before, you know, and that, you know, and I am the wrestler that maybe others didn't think I was, you know, because uh, deep down inside, man, deep down inside, and I'm not saying it's in a cocky way, you know, I'm saying this in a full-blown 150% confident way. And I really, really do believe at 29 years old, okay, with the experience that I've had and the way that I take this serious, I take it very serious because it's my life. And if I told you really what I do my, when I'm not in the ring specifically, you probably wouldn't believe me or you'd think I'm crazy. But, you know, I really believe that I am one of the best there is out there today, actively. I do. You know, I mean, I, I literally eat, breathe, and sleep this. In fact, I, I wouldn't even say sleep, but barely sleep. <laughs> but, you know, I think you, you sleep enough when you're dead. So I, I feel, you know, if there's an opportunity to watch, you know, a, a piece of tape, a footage, a match, and, and see what you did wrong, and, you know, how you can, you know, make up with this, and at this right time, the next time you wrestle this guy, you know, just be over prepared in every aspect, every situation, just so at the end of the day, you know, you can say you gave it everything you've got, you know, and I want to walk away in this business, hopefully many, many, many years down the road, looking in that mirror like Rocky Balboa did and look into my own eyes and said, you know what, I did everything that I could possibly have done. There's no excuses no matter what happens going forward. And if there's one thing that I want to accomplish right now, if, if, if that's going to be one of the next questions, is I've never, um, I've never been a world champion on a mainstream level, you know, and there's no other title that I would love and be considered an honor, no pun intended, to win is the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship. Because to me, that title means something. It's not passed around like a lollipop like it is in other places. You know, it symbolizes that you are the best at what you do at your craft. And uh, to win uh, that championship, to me, would be, uh, you know, they say what they want to say about titles. But let me tell you something. You got a passion and you put in the effort to what you do, you know, to be the best you can be. And you and you win something like that. It, it's as real as it gets, man, because it's almost like everything you put into it, it's like almost like a reward, like, you know, we're, we're putting the company on your back because we trust you, you know, we're, we're running with you. So it's like, uh, it's, I can only imagine, I mean, I don't know yet, I haven't felt it, but I can only imagine how emotional, you know, that's what you see guys cry a lot of times when they win titles because, of, you know, when, and just take Chris Benoit or Eddie Guerrero, for instance, you know, when they were getting emotional when they won the, the title. It's because, I mean, of all that hard work, all, all those times on the road, you know, all the sacrifices they made, the birthday parties that the kids they missed, you know, it's a rough, rough, rough business, you know, and it's not made for everybody. You have to have a passion for this business. If you don't have a passion for this business, you will make it. You will survive. You may have a year or two run, but eventually it will fade away, you know. And um, those guys have had passion. And, and, and when you achieve that level of success, that's as real as it gets. Sorry if I'm rambling there. It's got a roll. Oh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> You're telling it like it is, because seriously, one of the reasons I started watching Ring of Honor, I started watching Ring of Honor in about mid late 2010, I started watching, the first show I saw was Death of Forest Honor 8, and one of the things that separated Ring of Honor from any other company was just how much the titles meant, because exactly. the main event of Death of Forest Honor 8 was Tyler Black taking on Davey Richards, and right. how badly that match meant to Ring of Honor regarding the champion was amazing, when even with Kevin Steen, how much it meant when he won it, it would change Ring of Honor forever. It's just the yeah. titles mean something. In WWE, they just, it's like almost transition. And I'm just yeah. like, Ring of Honor, and even a lot of indie companies, when you win the title, you actually accomplish something. In WWE, TNA, they almost hand it to you, and some guys don't earn it. And I feel that's almost unfair when there's guys like you busting your asses on the indies, and these guys are just getting handed rewards for not doing all that much. Yeah. No, man, I agree. I mean, I, I know exactly where you're saying and exactly where you're coming from. And, 
that's the, that, that's what separates us from them. You know, and I believe they actually did a tally uh, of, or a poll, if you want to say, at this point. And they actually um, they did a poll on the WWE, I want to say it was, on how much in-ring wrestling was in a two-hour show. Now, that's, what, 120 minutes we're talking here? And the poll came out to be 20, it was 23 to 33 minutes of actual in-ring wrestling where the rest was promos, skits, commercials, et cetera, you know. And um, I just, I'm sorry. I The reason why I wanted to be a wrestler to begin with was because when I grew up, it was wrestling, you know. And that's what Ring of Honor is about. We, there's a slogan that I like to say, I think, you know, I, I want to pitch it actually to the merchandise people because I think it's exactly what we represent. Ring of Honor brings the sport back into professional wrestling. You know, that's, that's what ridiculously we are. true. It is. We 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 bring the comp. We are. We strive on competition. We push each other. We push ourselves. You know, we all want to be the top guy. We all want to be the top notch athlete. You know, the you know wrestler in the company. We want to make a statement. You know, and the fans are great because I, I love the fans because. They want to see. They want to see wrestling. You know, they they don't, they don't want to see us go out there and you know and have the greatest slash wrestler go out there and sing Frank Sinatra or something like that. <laughs> no, they want to exactly. see wrestling, and that's what we bring. You know, and that's what you're going to see this Sunday at Best in the World, from the first match all the way to the last match, and uh, whatever I got to do, I'm gonna find a way to get myself on there and hopefully show you guys. Exactly what I'm all about. Hopefully, I mean, not hopefully. I'm gonna get it done. You know, if it costs me my job, if it costs me, the cops gotta drag me out of the freaking building or what? I, you know, I. It's not that I have to be. It's no. It's not that I need to be there. It's not a passion that I just wanna be on the card on pay per view. No, it's because I have to be there, and that's just the way it is. You know. So, but you know what? I, I'm going to tell you this, and this may surprise you a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going with Davey Richards um, this, this Sunday at the pay-per-view when he faces the scene. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I want him to bring everything he's got. I've been in the ring with Davey, and let me tell you, man, Davey is one of the most intense individuals I've ever been in the ring with. And, um, you know, he's got one shot, one shot on this. You know, otherwise, he may never, you know, well, he won't get another shot at Kevin Steen again. So, um, you know, it's pretty much a one shot with deal right here. And um, I want him to come back with that ROH title, not only to bring it back to Ring of Honor, you know, because uh, Kevin Steen's been making quite some statements lately. But everybody knows. Davey knows. I know. The fans, I'm sure, probably know. And I'm sure you know, the people like Jim Cornette, they know that one day soon it's going to be Mondo Davy 2. And uh, this time there might be no time to withdraw. This time I'm going to show Davy Richards what Mike Mondo is about and that he is indeed the best in the world and that I am uh, the ROH title will be on the line. And that is when the final chapter where I win on a national mainstream level become for the first time a world heavyweight champion because I was born, I was put on this earth to be a champion and that's exactly what I am. Just, I couldn't have put it any better. I just feel, you know, Ring of Honor, you know, and you're a great wrestler. Ring of Honor, it's just, it's only a matter of time. Ring of Honor doesn't hand out these championships. They don't, they don't, they don't put content. They don't make up these horrible contenders. You're a contender at this point. You you basically right. just you proved you're a contender, and I think it's only a matter of time before a championship match comes your way. It's only a matter of well, time. I appreciate that, man. You know, and a compliment that it it means a lot to me. So, you know, I really do care about what the fans think because uh, you know the fans they they really support our you know our, our uh, how we make a living, you know, and. Um, I just it's appreciative when when guys, like guys like yourself they say that about me and uh, there's a lot of others that are you know, big big supporters of me but there's also a lot of haters out there and you know there's one thing man that I've learned in life and that's if you don't have any haters you just ain't good at what you do so you gotta have some haters out there but I would but uh, but also I thrive not on the hate 
it just pushes me more. It pushes me harder in the gym. It pushes me harder in the ring. It just pushes me harder to watch tape, study those that came before me, to be as innovative, to be as competitive, and this and willing to sacrifice my body and to do whatever I need to do to show the haters to their opinion around it. Like, you know what, that Mike Mondo, uh, we were wrong. You know what, he is one of the greatest out there. And uh, there's nothing more than I like than to prove people wrong. So, uh, and stick it right up their ass pretty much. <laughs> you know, but um, but that's just, you know, that's just my uh, my passion speaking, you know. I'm just talking about, I'm talking about, you know, other people, so to speak, if you know what I mean, quote, unquote. Um, you know, some people never believe I can become a star. Some people said you'll never become a wrestler. Some people get you short, you too this, you too that. Well, guess what? Here it is. So, run up your ass, pal, you know? So, uh, I thrive on that. It just pushes me more. So, I, I welcome the hate. I love the hate. You know? But and it's you nice know to what? hear those things that you just said, too, though. I like that, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and another yeah. reason, you know, Ring of Honor, it works. You know, I I went into the first show I was watching, and I just noticed how Davey isn't this 250-pound, jacked-up guy six foot something tall, they just, it's not about size, it's not about anything, it's about if you can wrestle. They made Samoa Joe a champion, they made CM Punk a champion. I, yep. That's why Ring of Honor works, it's just, it's wrestling. And I think that's yep. why all the fans, it's just, it's the best alternative out there at this point. Just yeah, you know, it is. And, uh, you know, we had a very suc- successful year, and I want to thank uh, Sinclair, for investing in a product and believing in Ring of Honor, um, you know, because if it wasn't for them, we would have had, uh, you know, Sinclair Broadcasting TV where, you know, I believe we're uh, on television for 40, 45% of the United States. And it was, we had a very, very successful year. And um, they predict that this next year is going to be only bigger. And I know you hear that in wrestling all the time, but for, 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 even for me, for shoot, I really do believe that because they really believe in our product and uh, Ring of Honor, and certainly Jim Cornette believes in our product, you know, and we have the talent. So if we're going to do it, then, guy, and, and I'm speaking to St. Clair, let's do it. Because, you know, we can make this, we can make this something big. I really, really believe that. Because I tell my friends, people this all the time, and in my opinion, it's my opinion, I think we can become number th- uh, the second best company in the world. You know, I mean, Vince is Vince, you know, that is kind of put pretty much top, impossible to top that because of the money reasons and, and everything like that. But there's no reason why we can't uh, can surpass TNA with any uh, a year and a half, you know, at, at tops. There's no reason we can't do that. You know, I mean, the, the quality of matches that we put on, you know, the, the things that we do that's never been seen before, you know, the energy from the fans just, you know, banging on those barricades, you know, and the fans really decide who they like and who they hate, you know. I mean, it's it's just uh, the fans have that freedom of expression, you know. And uh, sometimes in WWE, you know, if they want a guy to get over, they're going to make him get over no matter what, whether the fans want him to get over or not. Ring of Honor decides who, who who's going to get over, you know, who's, who's going to get over. The fans decide that. And that's, that, that's, that's the beauty of it because, you know, the fans, they support us, they support us on how we make a living, so... They should have a voice, and they let their voice be known all the time, you know, when you're out there, whether they like you or they hate you. So uh, I think that's a... And especially New York. Yeah, New York New York is a... Believe me, man, I've been to a lot of New York shows. Like I said, the first one I've ever been to is at the Hammerstein, and they're not afraid to voice their opinion. They're not afraid. But uh, I look forward to convincing whoever I need to convince to give me a shot. Don't, don't, Don't care who they are how big they are, you know, what the status is, you know, but uh, I'm coming, I'm coming prepared. I'm spending four hours in the gym every day, um, you know, preparing for whatever it is that they, they better put in front of me across that ring because uh, when they do, I'm going to eat their lunch and it's going to be gut check time for sure. No fear, Mike Mondo. I don't fear anything, nobody. And uh, I want to thank all my fans personally out there that, uh, when I broke them the news, I even put up some videos, you know, uh, thank you for supporting me. 
you know, they came up with this hashtag called Main Event Mondo, and I couldn't be more uh, flattered by that because, yeah, you know, I believe I do. I am the main event. I believe I should be in the main event, you know. Um, just uh, they been really good. You know, they want to see me there. I know I want to be there. I'm going to be there. question is, will I be out there? But uh, I'll do what I can do to make it happen. You know? Of course, man. And, of course, all of your fans, everyone at the WFU Internet Network wishes you the best. We're all – I'll be there live. Trust me, if you're not there, I'll make the crowd make sure their voices are heard. I'll be screaming for Mondo. And I just wanted to thank you for calling in and just just voicing your opinion because that's what the WFU Internet Network's about. And uh, just thank oh, yeah. you so much, man. Hey, no, man. It's my pleasure, man. It really is. Uh, thank you very much for having me on the show. And uh, for everybody out there, if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, you can follow me at MikeMondo83. Uh, Facebook, you uh, Facebook.com slash MikeMondo. I'm, uh, you know, I'm always in, I'll answer questions to fans, and I, uh, I like to keep a, like, create some sort of relationship with them. Because uh, like I said, the fans, if it wasn't for the fans, there would be no ring of honor. And if it wasn't for the fans, I'll even go deeper than that, there would be just no pro wrestling in general. So you, they, they're the ones that make it happen. So... Uh, of course. Yeah, so, that's it. So thank you so much for calling in, Mike. We all really appreciate it, and we all wish you the best. We all hope to see you Sunday at a Ring of Honor Fest in the World. It takes place live from the Hammerstein Ballroom. If you're in the New York area and you're not going, you're absolutely insane. It's going to be some amazing wrestling at ridiculously low prices. Come, have fun. That's what it's all about. Thank you guys so much for listening, and have a good one.